All right, got the tank all cleaned up. Almost two hours of work so far. Looks like it's gone up three degrees in here. There you go, not bad. The air compressor works real good for uh, putting heat in the building. It also takes the humidity out of the air so you don't get rust inside my building here. There's a lot of things. All right, so here's the tank after I blasted it. So, there's a before and there's an after. So would you rather see it like that or rather see it like this? Me, I want to see it bare so I know what's wrong with it. That you just dream and hope it's a good tank. This one here you can see what you're dealing with. So I blasted the inside a little bit, not too awful much. It's uh, not too bad in there, a little bit of rust, but it's just the right stuff. Nothing to complain. Not enough I would ever worry about it rusting through. This is definitely an abortion down here. I don't know what they use for a bung they weld in there, but you think they would have welded a good piece of material in there. It's a split two nut thing. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It is a pile of crap is what it really is, but oh well. So that needs to just be cut out and redone, but that needs to be done. So the way to do that is there's going to be a bung in this tank, which you can see right down there. And you can see how they welded through, so that means there must be a hole in here somewhere. Probably through where all this is here. It almost looks like silver solder. But the, uh, see, this is braze here. See how bright yellow it is? When you start seeing it like this, that's usually silver solder. But, uh, who knows? Anyway, heat it up with a torch. Get it nice and melted and then have a wrench right here and as soon as it starts to rotate a little bit you can hit with an airline and blow the heavy stuff off real quick and come back and do it a couple times like that it'll blow all the heavy braze off and then hopefully just unscrew after that once you get it out then you can see what the hell you got to work with inside that hole and i'd go in there and put a good one in there this one being an early tank with a with a hand shovel V-Twin reproduces all the stuff they cut off down here, so I just get the repop kit, put all the pivot back in here for shift lever, and convert it back to a stock tank. That's how I would do it. And you can knock all these bins out of here. I'm not sure where they got these pick marks from the inside, because it's pretty hard to get in there to beat on it with something, but looks like that's what they did. Not sure. This side of the tank looks pretty good except for that repair, but that is a good repair. So to cut this tank open to fix all that over there, obviously you cut along this whole bead through here. But you got to decide how far up you want to go. Usually you cut it right through with a party line of some type for the strength. Obviously it's pretty strong through here, so if you cut right through here it's not too bad. But then you can't fix that over there because you got to get in there deep. Yeah, it's pretty well bent over up to here. So your next place to cut would be along one of these lines, like through here, very strong. Or just cut the whole thing out all the way around, but then you gotta deal with these tank mounts, and you don't really want to cut those out if you can avoid it. So I don't really want to cut anything up in this front area. So on this tank here, I don't know, I have to make a decision where I want to go to here or come down through here. I'll probably do something like that, come down and cut it out. Do it that way. Okay. Oh well, that's what you got.